Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Hi, welcome to SBR Foreign Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are continuing our uh, spring training coverage with Doug Upstone, who is on the scene in li live, in person, uh, talking to us from Arizona, where all these spring training games are going on right now. Doug, thanks for being back with us. Peter, my pleasure to be back, and uh, we're home at the home of the Texas Rangers today. And uh, Rangers have made a lot of interesting changes, uh, had some things happen to them at the same time, but uh, we'll see what they uh, have to offer this year. Yeah, you know, the Rangers, we've already talked about them once. They are an interesting team. Overall, they were a negative bet last year, but it was uh, all at home. They were minus 11.5 units at home. On the road, they were actually pretty profitable, plus 6.7 units on the road. And, you know, they had guys like Martin Perez, you know, maybe a little bit lesser known. He was plus 4 units. You Darvish, minus 11.3 units on the year. One of the absolute worst pitchers in all of baseball to bet on. In their starting rotation, I see that they have Saunders now. He's got to be, if he's, if he's, a starting, if he's in the starting rotation, he's probably going to get crushed at least two-thirds of the games, right? They got O'Gandy. He has an upside. What's your take on uh, Texas starting rotation looking uh, ahead to a 2014? Yeah, I, I, I definitely see some problems here. I mean, you're mm -hmm. right about Joe Saunders. I mean, having him in the rotation and, you know, O'Gandy and, uh, has not looked good uh, to the start of the year, so he's not going to be among their starting pitchers. And so they're really they're searching. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Perez definitely is somebody that is dependable. I think somebody can count even though he's is a young guy. And then, you know, Darvish is going to bounce back. You know, the, the problem with him last year, of course, is he is always going to have big numbers on his games. And he pitched well enough for the bullpen, gave up a couple of those games uh, against him. So that hurt them last year, or hurt better, I should say, last year, not Darvish himself. So I, I think there's some there's some issues, but the offense is going to be dramatically better, mm -hmm. you know, with uh, with Chu and uh, and with a Prince Fielder. So I think you know, in that standpoint, it kind of evens its way out. I think the big thing is going to be how the bullpen works its way out. There's everything is not settled, and again, this is not unusual for a lot of teams because every year bullpen's a year-to-year -year deal for most teams, and I think that's what Texas' situation is right now. All right. Well, maybe if you know if the offense is going to be a lot better this year, then maybe the time to bet on Texas is when actually their their you know more inferior starting pitchers are starting and they're an underdog. Because if they're an underdog and you get into a shootout, it basically turns into a coin flip, right? You, you know, Peter, you took the words right out of my mouth. That's right. exactly what I was going to say. If this team was an underdog, I think it's going to have a lot of value. Uh, last year they were twenty and eighteen straight up, and I believe plus eight units as an underdog last year. And another thing that is uh, kind of an unknown about this team is that, you know, the odds makers look at them and they tend to, you know, the public thinks of Texas in over all the time. Mm -hmm. But actually this team is, as I recall, 36, ga um, yeah, 36 games uh, under right. the last two years. Yeah. You know, so from that standpoint, they're a tremendous value on the under. And what? if their bullpen comes into play, I would say that that'd be something definitely to look at, you know, once we get to the latter stages of April. You're telling me now that the offense is significantly improved. It also sounds like the pitching is going to be significantly worse overall. So I'm thinking maybe we start to see overs again with Texas. Yeah, I, I think that's a possibility. I think the key is going to be what you know, what kind of numbers are the odds makers uh, put out there? What kind of adjustments that they make uh, if they do going into the season? I would assume that they will. But you know, hey, opportunity is where opportunity is, right? Doug, uh, thanks so much once again. Thank you, Peter.